Matthew May, Winning the Brain Game, Fixing the Seven Fatal Flaws of Thinking. Prepare to dive into the world of Winning the Brain Game by Matthew May, a captivating book that unravels the seven fatal flaws of thinking and the strategies to overcome them. This summary will take you through May's pivotal moments like his work with LAPD bomb technicians, key principles such as fast thinking and its slow thinking, and techniques like framestorming and prototesting. By the end, you'll be equipped with the understanding and tools to confront your cognitive biases, elevate your decision-making, and enhance your problem-solving skills. Innovative Thinking Author Matthew E. May worked with 12 bomb technicians from the Los Angeles Police Department to equip them with new problem-solving approaches to counter modern terrorism. May taught them structured patterns of questioning, framing, hypothesizing, ideating, testing, and reflecting to innovate solutions. He presented them with a situation where 33% of shampoo bottles were stolen from a health club, and they had to find an elegant solution that required the least input and maximum output. May introduced them to seven categories of flawed thinking that can hinder innovative solutions. The Power of Slow Thinking In his book, Thinking Fast and Slow, psychologist Daniel Kahneman explains that humans use two ways of thinking called System 1 and System 2. System 1 is fast thinking that is triggered by previous experience and is used for routine tasks. System 2 is slow thinking and is used for serious problems. However, we tend to rely on System 1 too frequently, which leads to hasty decisions and prevents well-considered solutions. To avoid such mistakes, one should try to emulate slow thinking by asking questions to frame a problem instead of given answers. This method, called framestorming, can help in transforming slow thinking into fast thinking and ultimately lead to better decision-making. Overcoming Fixation Fixation is a group of internal biases that affect how humans perceive and process information. These mental shortcuts, while useful for daily life, can hinder people from changing their minds or being flexible. To avoid being stuck in prejudices, individuals must work on framing problems correctly. Techniques such as problem probing using inversion and considering the opposite world can help one overcome automatic thinking. These methods help to defeat deception, relabeling, reframing, refocusing, and revaluing issues. By using each opposite to framestorm or brainstorm ideas, individuals can avoid mental censorship and unlock creativity. The trick to breaking free from self-censorship is keeping everything intriguing and exciting. Overthinking, a barrier to success. Overthinking is a common impediment to progress as it causes people to blow a problem out of proportion leading to needless complexity, expense, and failure. To overcome overthinking, creativity can be used by taking a different approach to problem solving. The prototesting tactic combines prototyping and testing to check assumptions and ensure success. People often assume they have a well thought out plan until they are hit by unforeseen circumstances. To survive, it's important to uncover the purpose behind plans and test the premises to identify any assumptions that pose a risk to the plan's success. The best way to identify problematic ideas is to ask what must be true and test their accuracy. Overthinking hinders progress, so it's important to detect and eradicate it by creatively altering one's perspective and testing to ensure success. Synthesizing Better Solutions the human tendency to settle for the easiest option, known as satisficing, can hinder progress. However, Roger Martin suggests a solution to this problem, synthesizing better alternatives. By working harder to create solutions, or integrating outstanding features of two options through the process of synthesis, individuals can avoid the trap of satisficing and make more informed decisions. Boost your creativity. Persist in exploring unconventional ideas, combat your tendency to downgrade and use the three stages of inquiry, the what, the what if and the how to boost your creativity. Failure often becomes the bane of many. Failure manifests in different ways, and in most cases, people tend to give up on their goals instead of pushing even harder. This act of giving up could stem from the need to avoid failure. 
Research has shown that people often run out of ideas after 20 minutes of brainstorming. However, top performers persist and continue to explore unconventional ideas despite the psychological resistance. A technique called jumpstarting works great to combat this tendency, including looking for a second source of power to kick your thinking back into action and strengthen your resolve. This summary also shows how to improve one's creativity by using the three stages of inquiry the what, the what if, and the how. Overcoming resistance to change. A.G. Laffley's innovation strategy at Procter & Gamble can help you overcome the not-invented-here syndrome. People often prioritize taking action rather than analyzing the roots of a challenge, and this mindset can hinder progress. To avoid this pitfall, it's crucial to open your mind to external ideas and solutions, even if it means letting go of the my way or the highway attitude. By doing so, you can boost innovation and growth for your organization, just like PNG did by seeking out external innovations. Self-censoring and creativity. Embrace an outsider's perspective to overcome the flaw of self-censoring that hinders creativity. This approach, advocated by philosopher Adam Smith, involves adopting the viewpoint of an impartial spectator, freeing oneself from prejudices and fears. With the completion of this summary, you have not only discovered the seven fatal flaws of thinking but also learned the methods to overcome them. Winning the Brain Game provides valuable insights and techniques to challenge your assumptions, reframe problems, creatively approach dilemmas, and break free from cognitive biases. As you apply the concepts from this book, you'll find yourself navigating complex decisions more efficiently and with greater confidence, leading to personal and professional growth across various domains.